14. How do we convert tablespoons to grams? So this one, tablespoons to grams. Okay. So for this, we actually need to know our conversion sheet, which I had earlier, but unfortunately that's a page that's not loading properly. But the point being is that we can actually set this up properly. So first thing is that we know we start out with tablespoons. So X table spoons, okay? And then we have um, certain amount we don't know yet, but we want to be able to get tablespoons crossed out. So we put that in the denominator, and that corresponds to how many grams you have. And once these cancel out, you'll be able to get x times whatever divided by whatever to give you your grams. So now, um, for this, turns out tablespoons is actually a liquid um, measurement. So you can actually search it up here, although I wouldn't trust this because usually it refers to like, I guess, water. I think well, if I said tablespoons to grams, okay. It says 21.25 grams, okay. Well, that's like baking conversion table. But this answer here actually brings up a good point that tablespoons typically are a measure of volume while grams are a unit of mass. And if we um, are going based off of that to even get to this point, what they did here is x tablespoons, okay, and we're still canceling out the tablespoons, but now we know that there's 15 milliliters per one tablespoon, okay, and now what they've done here is that they say you need a density, and density, okay, is going to be, so density, which is uh, um, volume, is equal to I'm trying to remember what density is. Oh yeah, mass over volume. Yeah, that's density. So with that being said, if we wanted to find now mass, that's a key part, we have mass is equal to volume times density. Okay? So then that means we need whatever we're measuring, we need to know the density of that object, okay? So it would be I guess A, all right, because now we're getting rid of the mill, okay, volume times density, just make sure we have the correct one, actually no, we wouldn't do this, we have 15 mils, oh yeah, no, this makes sense, sorry about that, so we have A, and we have A mass, so A grams over um, I guess a certain amount of mils. The reason why we put the mils here, grams for one mil, because if you see the density, density written in units, something grams per mil or kilograms per liter, that's how you calculate density. So these two will cancel out. So depending on what your density is, like I can say my density is 0.78 grams per liter. I can say like the density of like methane or something. Um, but nonetheless, this is what we do here, because now our goal is to get to grams. That's what we've done. Tablespoons of cancer are out. So in total, we'd have in this theoretical answer, 15 times A times X grams would be how to get to your <clears throat> grams from tablespoons. As you've seen here, we've canceled out every appropriate unit and ended up with just grams. So, that being said, this is correct. So, let's move on to the next question. Question 15.